Hi everyone and God bless you. I'm here again. Um, I just heard something in the news. Um, interesting is the fact that we go, actually you people, you people, you people, all of you who go work hard for your money, I'm talking to you, to people who had a paycheck, who has an hourly pay, who get looked down, squashed down by your companies, by your corporations, by your bosses, by your supervisors. They expect from you to have excellence, performance, to be superhumans, but yet they are slouches and corporatocracy mentality, some kind of uh, keepers or something like that, some spooky keepers who they just walk by you and spy on you and they just push you left and right and up and down and they just want to squeeze as much from you as possible. I'm talking to you guys, not to those people who are the pushers and the greasy pole climbers. But even to you, I can say that more and more when you go to stores, you're going to realize that your portions are smaller. Yes, the price is the same, but but you buy smaller portions. The boxes are, the yogurt boxes are hollowed out. The boxes are smaller. They make all kinds of cuts. They pump up the meat with all kinds of pink slime. Check out on YouTube. Check out other YouTube's videos and you're going to find out that the meat is pumped up to have more volume, to look um, uh, bigger to weigh more and you actually buy pink slime injected into the meat well from this i will just want to mention to you that all these corporations who do this they are psychopaths morons who they do not have any kind of christian value they do not obey any christian law they Probably they heard about Jesus Christ, but they do not follow the Jesus' teachings. Now, that be said, I want to mention that Walmart get caught that they have billions, if not trillions of dollars offshore. They don't have to pay taxes. Now, all of you, the hard workers, taxpayers, you pay 35%. If you put the sales tax 35, you're going to go to 40% that you're going to lose actually from your paychecks right away. No? Yet Walmart and other corporations who they go offshore uh, now looks like they go to Brussels in Europe and they pay around of two two percent imagine that being billionaire being trillionaire and you pay two percent yet you go work for 750 for eight for maybe ten dollars you are lucky if you have thirteen dollars and they slash forty percent from your paychecks that's how you come up with add up how much you pay how much you pay in insurance a add up how much is your car insurance add all those fees and everything what they put on you see where you are yet the billionaires they don't have any problem at all they have huge corporations huge companies they don't do nothing and they make billions of dollars profit when you go to the store you're going to realize that soon even Goodwills and other second-hand stores going to be expensive for you. Is that make any kind of sense? Yet you hear that in Kansas, they absolutely erased from 6%. They dropped to zero the taxation for millionaires and above what kind of sense is that make like that money could not go to the roads 
that money could not fix bridges they could not they could not fix infrastructure with all that money now the whole burden is going to be on people making less than forty thousand dollars that that makes sense if that makes sense to you people keep going that and keep allow this talking about allowing what we can do call no you do you do it i'm a cat but call up your representative send them emails call them email them send and send and send and send fill up the email boxes and what about check out because it was not on the mainstream media obvious but when the bankers wanted to scheme the Iceland's population they did a pen and pots revolution how interesting they went out and they just made noises in front of the parliament and the representatives so yes something can be done to be heard not just sitting around and just wondering what's gonna be and go to the stores and realize that you can buy way less than five ten years ago with the same amount of money and then get into the games Ooh, hooray the games like that's gonna change something that somebody threw a ball or somebody's running for a ball or whatever games they are they are just an entertainment they will not change your life they will not pay your paychecks so people if you think about your kids if you can think about your green grandkids do something about that we cats yes we do we go hunt mice we try to do it we try to be good providers and yes we fight even with a bear even with the crocodiles for the safety and the livelihood of our kittens god bless you all i wish you the best and see you soon bye